Eyi de bi e ku oju mo e ku oju mo mo teni it don't happen it don't sell so the inauguration yi na i want to be ti yari o se ma mr tunde faro ti mi eh it don't start america it don't finish usa hey to ba gbo to so ni pa america o fi mo si bi ta ye won gbe in fact like it we ko share mo fe o ko do 10 minutes pere lo mo fe ko fara bale ko gbo Ah, say lori obi na I want obi ti yari o I want obi DNC. Heba, say ni tori eh? Ni tori twenty May twenty nine. Today is uh, what killer na? Say ni koni twelve abi thirteen. Heba, oh my God, twenty nine of this this May uh, of this uh, yes of this month. Tori inauguration. Yeah, it don't happen. It don't sell out. It don't happen. I want to see film. Tolo, oh my Timmy, but me can be a travel ye. Eba mi si fi dio, eba mi si ojo opo fun. Wo fi dio na, fi opinion re sile. Americans friends, those who know in Nigeria bring their wealth to this land and you give them soccer. You convict them here, you release them to Nigeria. A drug indicted criminal is about to become the president of my country and you Americans are the ones normalizing the insanity. When I spoke about the five most corrupt countries in the world and put America at number two, United States of America, a lot of people complained, a lot of people even abused and insulted me. But the reason I gave for putting America in number two is the exact same reason for the statement, the speech that Dele Faruti me is given or gave at an event in the United States of America. The truth is, for you to determine what corruption is, you must first of all determine who benefits the most from corruption. Now, Dele Faru to me is pained. I am pained. Our American friends will tell us we have a democracy and that is why Nigeria must be protected and everything must be kept quiet. We must have peace. They speak peace to us, but they never talk to us about justice. Those who know in Nigeria bring their wealth to this land and you give them soccer. They carry your green cards, they carry your passports, they buy your citizenship, they buy homes in this place. You convict them here, you release them to Nigeria. If they were drug dealers, members of the Mahay drug cartel, you'd be busy talking about all kinds of sanctions on them. You wouldn't allow them in your country. Yeah. But you have them living here, their children are here, they ruin my country, I can't live in yours. I visit, and when I stay longer than three weeks, I'm already having withdrawal symptoms, all I want to do is go back to mine. But you make my country impossible to live in because of your subjectification of the truth. You sit down on a day to day basis and you preach down at us and you tell us about just how much democracy works for Africa. But you do everything to undermine our democracy because you give support to criminals in your cities. I can't open a bank account in America because I'm a Nigerian. But the crooks ruining my country put their monies in your accounts. Mm -hmm. I can't open an account. All my the only crime is that I'm a Nigerian. A drug indicted criminal. Is about to become the president of my country, and you Americans are the ones normalizing the insanity. Mm. When I speak to the subjectification of truth, it sounds sometimes like actually is another word for hypocrisy. No sane Nigerian, in fact, no sane African will not be pained at the effect of and the devastation of corruption in Nigeria and indeed in Africa. But what many people fail to understand is that corruption was created by the West, by the Brenton Woods institutions, the IMF, the World Bank. Corruption was created by them for one purpose and one purpose only. They need our money, they need our resources to develop their countries. That's all. And how do they get it? During the Greek Revolution, they needed our people, our able-bodied men and women. So, what did they do? They used the slave trade to get our able-bodied men 
to go over to their places and then they help them to farm their lands and they get the 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 goods and they are okay they didn't mind that they were using our able-bodied men and women the best of us at the time the strongest of us use them by force as slaves take them to their plantations that you got came plantations whatever plantations they had and use them to develop their country look many people think that they ended slavery because they discovered that slavery was bad no the west did not end slavery because they thought that slavery was bad they ended slavery because they discovered or invented the steam engine they no longer needed a lot of manpower anymore during after the discovery of the steam engine that was the beginning of the industrial revolution they now had machines that can do the work of 1000 men so they no longer needed human beings to come and work in their plantations anymore that is why they ended slavery upon ending slavery and starting their industries they no longer needed human beings but another kind of need arose for them and that was what mineral resources their factories needed mineral resources and what better way to get it than to come down to Nigeria, to Africa and colonize us? That was what started colonization. That was what ended slavery. And that was what started colonization. Now, many people think that colonization stopped because the West realized that colonization was bad. They didn't stop colonization because they realized colonization was bad. No colonization stopped across africa because the french the british the italians the germans they were devastated by the second world war in fact they no longer had the military might to sustain the oppression of colonialization colonization add to that the cold war between the united states of america and ussr what you now know today as russia and United States of America single-handedly forced Britain, forced France, forced Europe to abandon colonialism because the United States had put in place the Brenton Woods institutions, the IMF and the World Bank, to create a new kind of tool, which is corruption, that will ensure the continuous flow of the resources of Africa to them. That was why they stopped colonization because they could not sustain the military power to continue it and because of the influence of the united states which was the emerging single world superpower at that time and they put in place corruption they created corruption they created corruption the united states of america the brenton woods institutions the imf the world bank they created corruption to achieve one goal the same goal of the slave trade the same goal of colonization the same goal of this corruption induced resource transfer i call it corruption induced resource transfer that is what is responsible for this and if you look at the the core if you listen to the core of daily fire to his message this is what he was talking about basically in his message i share his pain but you see the message is to us all africans not just nigerians we have a country to save we have nigeria to save we have africa to save and our african leaders must realize how stupid and how dumb they are really they are being used as pawns and they are given baits baits bait of corruption and they fall into it they are happy to 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 steal our resources to to be given cars to be given houses to be given land to be given green pastor imagine is it not an insult for a, a united kingdom to be saying that oh if any political leader engages in political thuggery we will issue visa ban seriously seriously visa ban to america to britain is supposed to be punishment meanwhile how effective really are these visa bans how effective is this visa ban for desiani at Mal alice in madwiki how effective is it 
how effective is this uh, this visa ban for 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 Sheyitinubu who can buy a house what 11 million dollars in cash in an environment that promotes cashless policy how effective is that visa ban nigerians and indeed africans must realize that they are being played particularly the leaders they are just stupid and dumb and they don't realize it they they are given the same bait the same baits the same bait you know when the slave trade started the slave trade it started because the westerners first the portuguese then the british came with mirror with ogoguru with powder they came with those things and in exchange for mirror ogoguru and powder our forefathers some of them were willing to sell their fellow brothers and sisters into slavery just to get those